was something Natasha didn't speak about. Natasha is terrified, and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. this list. I know only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. So, the card is, uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The but the list Philmar gave us. Exactly. Full of those imposing names. Lamar. Yes, Marty. It's of course, it's Lewis. But well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. You know his number? By heart. 555-932. I... Oh, you are a professional, boss bird. Hey, Lewis, uh, sorry to disturb you again. Uh, could you come over? Thanks, pal. I owe you one. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. Again. Oh, don't m m mention it. Besides, well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list of. Hmm. Well, well, these names. I knew it. But, but I have no idea. Here we go. But these are all members of the upper c c class. Politicians. Business people. Damn. But I really don't know what it is. So, is it a dead end? I'm a, a, a fr Deborah, the girl who came to me tonight. Yes. Where did you take her after you two left? Where she asked me to. Flowerville. Luck. <gasps> Nothing good, Lewis. No. This? This? Oh, oh, oh. I think we have a big... You see, I also... A card? Like... Y yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. How it's very... That's what I'm talking about. What does SN mean? It's the... But that's a well, yes, it's a brothel, but it's not not like that. It's something completely different. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to thank you so much. Listen, Lewis, how do we get in? Phew, want to get in? Well, if you could show them this, we're used to that. So, correct, Marty. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one. I don't know what you s s s said to him. Really? That? Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. I didn't see. S s s I didn't s see her after. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows. She was a. T t t t we found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian Mount? Do you mean the massacre of the royal f family? So it's possible that she is a... I d d don't think so. <laughs> uh, you're probably right. What should we know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're... Uh... No, it's an elegant and exclusive place. I see. I guess it's mostly... Fit. M mostly, yes. Yes, of course. Is it true what they say? That it's some kind of... Denial is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the... But the place must be an eyesore for... Oh, don't, don't, don't worry for the girls, S -S -S Sonny. 
They can. Well, we'll see what they have to say about these two. Uh, that was a little. To Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville. The Separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place, just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Well, here we are. The kingdom of long... Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. She's what I call an ex... Well, that's one... Hey, every animal's the most beautiful... Yeah, you're right. Oof, I... Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it... Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather. Or how's my lower... Yeah, old fart. My name is Day Night Diamond. Miss Diamond, I'm Sonny. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name. Marty, not now. Oh? Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places. Oh, nothing to worry about. De You're absolutely right. We're just interested. Deborah. We don't have any employees by that name. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me... Please, I'm at your service. You hear that, Sonny? Any... Shut up, Marty. I wouldn't want to offend you. Far from it. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't. But, you know... Right. I understand, man. I wouldn't want to offend. Is it? No. Right. I... Is it? No. Right. Do you know a gentleman named... Of course I do. Mr. I see. I can't give you any information about the... We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any questions of that nature. Ah, touche. Does this list mean anything? This? I'm not sure. Don't you see some familiar... I do. But everybody knows those animals. I see. Oh, thank you. Look, she gave this to us. The girl named Deb. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. Was this person a... If this belonged to her, then yes. I can... Uh, thank you. I'm much ab... <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. With pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would Can I, Sonny? What am I, your mother? Do we Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what? Clucking lords. Oh, I'm sorry. If you'd really like to. I will be, ma'am. If you'd really... I will be... Oh, thank you, honey. Marty, ma'am. Marty... Thank you, darling. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. Beauty is... No, thank you. Oh. May I? No, thank you. Oh. Yee. 
I got... Uh, I can see... I've always told myself that birds are weird. What did you just say? Huh? What? Me? Nothing? <laughs> These brides are elegant. Lewis. What do you think could be... Ah, oh, for the love of all... I just think... Please, shut. Woman, she's. F Do you think it's her? The God damn it, Marty! Do you have to say it out loud? Chicken bumps more like. Anyway, I don't know if it's really her. I honestly, it gives. Yeah, me too. Holy fur! You swallowed so. Are you kidding me? I've never. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. You really must be joking. Vice out. Oh, now cool down, Marty. Don't even. You don't need to tell me. With a hatchet in her. More like my nug. <laughs> Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slow. Laura. That's it. I. I, I don't even know. Good. Hey, keep it down. I see it now. Yes, it's very furry. Um. I apologize for the wait. So you were successful. My mistress. Ma you mean that, Madam Save Us? As far as I know, there's... Please, miss. Take us to a... With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no sp Is that the time already? Have you noticed your clock's not... How observant you are. That clock is... It's beautiful. Indeed. There's something... There's something... Let me introduce myself. Mr. Sardino, I know who you are. And I also know your partner. The legend of the... Uh, thank you. Hmm. May I ask? You know, that's an interesting question. The car belongs to an old friend of ours. And the name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. Well, you know, in our line of... Oh, do you think so? I could tell... Look, ma'am, we don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your... In that case, I'm at your service. Fortunately, I swim very well for... I swim well. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of... The employees, too. Good to know. Can you... No. I thought so. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. You wouldn't believe our client. No doubt. Lewis, mm, not... Thank you for the... The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is... That was beautiful, man. Tell me, have you ever seen this list? I have. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does, yes. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion is key. Absolutely. Do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, fierce. Thank you. Very useful. This place isn't just our home with the... Really? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost... A Interbreeding? That too, yes. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a... Pro really? I'm glad to...
Deceit is everything to Zavos. She used to... Who's behind the legend, Miss Zavos? Just an animal raised to survive, Mr. Featherland. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain appearance. You should. Appearances, most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. Isn't it dangerous being a royalist? You know, Mr. Featherland, those that are genuinely dedicated... Do you think it's my loyalty that motivates me the most? Maybe you're not loyal to the police, Mr. Featherland, but... That's true, but you're avoiding the question. What? You know, I always adapt. You'd rather die, then. Maybe it would seem too dramatic or even romantic. I'm sorry to doubt you, but I've always thought your kind was... Do you mean spies or... Spies, of course. <laughs> I must disappoint you. But there aren't many... If you're telling me, ma'am... Why did you decide... You know, this place used to be an orphanage. Then after the great avian... Young mothers and prostitutes. No, it didn't happen like that, of course. The process took 20... And this was the best you could do. You see things very superficially. And it's the cherry on top of the most treasured secret. Very insightful, Mr. Featherland. There's... If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but if you... Good. Let's see. The end... Well, Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip... It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret. While... Indeed, Mr. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Ibn Wessler. You have talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I am working for... Are you sure, Mr. Touche? Indeed. Natasha used to work here. We can put it that way, but... Right. That puts everything in. Zavos is a true survivor. Always was. And she's proud of that, even... Why did you take her in? Maybe you saw... She was only 17 when she knocked on the rear entrance of the brothel. Was Natasha... Yes. Completely alone. Her left arm was slashed with a... Did she tell you what happened to her? After I brought her into the house, warmed her up, and changed... And you weren't bothered by all those... That would have been very hypocritical of me, don't you think? I see. Do you know where Natasha came from? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos. And she That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked... That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. Did it touch you deeply when she... Indeed. <laughs> Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating... Have you kept in touch? Only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. She writes... Did she give no sign of being in trouble? Never. No. Yeah, I've noticed... When was the last time you saw her, Madame Zavos? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball, attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, 
and myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was a... Fr On the contrary, she was unrestrained. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was... I see. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to... Honestly, I was very hurt. I, I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you... Of course I do. You've been in my shoes before, am I right? This isn't about me, madam. Please... I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Were you disappointed in her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. Yes, you're right. Well... Any time, detective. Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. Oh, that's excellent news. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile is fake. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one, too. That's exactly how... Anyway, now that we're here, we can... Just what I was thinking. Yes, this is the Zevas from the Legends. Beautiful and deadly. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Who'd have thought? She is a legendary ex. Well, this. I don't think many animals get to be in this room. Maybe she wanted us. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who? This room is not like her at all. The other must have been for show. Marty. A former. Still, if anyone knows how to map. Well, you think this is who she really is? And full of secrets. So the rumors are true. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. Uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for Royal Intelligence? Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. Hector the Third. I feel sorry for the poor fox to be... I don't. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. Even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. <laughs> this has got to be it, Marty. Oh, God. Yeah, the ladies and... Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been... This book could destabilize... Cl At least the Clawville we could... You think this is behind everything? Somebody... That could easily be the case. But... Sonny? If there's even a small chance... Sonny! What? There's a... What are you talking about? <laughs> Clucking hell, Sonny. She was... Uh, it's probably someone... So that's why... Natasha. Look, boss. I can't believe it. Oh. Listen, boss bird. Molly lo- Marty, please shut your fucking beak. Okay, boss. I'm so- Just shut the clock. We've caught them sneaking around. I see, madam. No, oh, back off, ladies. There's no need for this. We don't want- No, maybe you don't. Madam say, boss. We needed to know the- And? And my wife. Filthy cops? 
He's talking gibberish. No, not yet. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, but believe me... Please, madam. It'll all be over. No. We have received different... Oh, I see. The pony does... That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What... Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested? Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What? Nothing at all. No, she was just a little bird among the many who sought... You forced her into the... You'd love to hear that, but until she met you... You... Sonny, no! I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want to remember. Dark and painful. Then the suffocating smoke woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? That treacherous crocodile. Then I saw Marty, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty? <laughs> and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit. Marty, listen. You're a selfish... 120... But you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Well, take a good look around, boss. <laughs> Marty. And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. Marty. What? I've almost managed to untie the knot. But if you... Ah, oh, for cluck's sake. Fine. Work your magic. You better.
So what now? Now we... I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast. Oh, I shouldn't have brought this many guns. Throw them away, then. Never. Then they'll drag you dead. Fuck you, Sonny. We have to survive this. Well, after you. <laughs> that furry fucking... Yeah. Listen, Marty. What? What you said on the ship. What? What about it? You were right. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I don't need this, all right? Stop playing the wound. Fair enough. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. I'll, uh, shut up. Good. I think I must have hit my head pretty bad. Say, isn't that... You see him too? Oh, 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 lads. What the hell? It was warm on the ship. At least I bet it was. Hey, Captain, how's it? It's hanging all right. Arr. Oh, I think someone tried to kill us, Captain. Come on, Boise. Yeah, old Russ can't be. Did you see anything, Captain? Arr. Of course I have. A burning ship. You haven't changed a bit, old man. Sure I haven't. I'm steady. Like this? Yeah, except that Clawville doesn't... Of course it does, laddie. Just not... Okay. Oh. Tell me, Captain, do you hang... This behind me is me ship, lads. Oh. And what do you do? Hmm. I stand... The sea. You mean the river. <laughs> okay. Black car stopped not far from here. Yeah? Two big lads stepped out of it. One of them was looking like some kind of cow. The other was a... Just a wild guess. Arr. Well, an acquaintance. It's the bouncer of the Tsar Club. Gloomy gods. Save ass answers to Ibn too. Yeah. Oh, arr. Easy, old-timer. This uh, ram fella. Arr. Nothing at all, Eddie. When that lovely ship started to sink, they got into their pretty car. So they didn't see us swimming to... Uh, I wouldn't know. Uh, what now? I don't know. We can't... Can we agree on that? I think I broke a... My sight plucked me. Oh, no, no, no. We have to, pal. I'm not your pal. Spe Come on. We got... An <sighs> well, we survived the burning ship. Don't be so optimistic. Do you know anything about the place called... Of course I do, me boys. But they... Not surprised. <laughs> Arr, sure I have. They have the most beautiful wenches there, laddie. Like say... Well, actually, Captain, that's where we... On a burning ship. Bloody... Ah, uh, we're doing our best. Hey, yippee! Have you heard the name... Arr, when I was young like ye... Ah, me too. It's her, yeah. Less beautiful. Her, she has something. You're uh, quite the. Her. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what... Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs went missing, and the morphine stock suspiciously depleted. Well, well.
Look who the cat dragged in. The one and only... Good evening to you too, old owl. Aw. Not yet. Ha ha, it is to laugh. I well, then I hope... We just crawled out of the river, so if it's all right... Well, I owe you one. Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. Okay, okay. Ah, tell me about it. Tonight's starting to... Rem or worse. Yeah. Uh, Charming as ever, old bird. Spit it out. What Busy? I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes. What muscle head? Wait. Let me get how did you shit. What was that? Bobcat's hand was badly burned. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roots. What have you gotten yourselves into again? Yeah, don't say. Well, in this case... Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As you can see... Just tell us everything you know. And give us some strong painkillers. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. Joking aside, how are you, Doc? Long time. Oh, you should get shot more. Yeah, right. I'm on it. I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. So you still support this effort? Wow, this old owl's heart is... But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem, as long as I don't marry. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, thank... What does this tell you, Bubo? you tore off the corner of a... Not that. What do you... That somewhere a painting is... Don't clock with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then... <sighs> Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah. Easy for you to say. You can't. Why? Because she. No. Because no matter how. Aw, oh, touching. Hold your tongue. What do you know about Madame Zavos? Zavos, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contact. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Oh, great. We almost died. Why didn't you ask? Shut, shut up, okay? So that ram and his partner, did they talk about... The bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. But the ram... What did they say, Bubo? 
Yeah. After they've done the job killing you, I guess. A rat. Figure it. An informer. They call That's gotta be... Of course. Well, then, that flea bag's done for. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like... I guess. We gotta help him, then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe... One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. So, who tried to get us out of the way, and why?